Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to do these circle rainbow nails with rhinestones. I'm awful at thinking of names for nail art. Anyway, I started out using a base coat, obviously. This is one my essence that I always use. And then I used a white nail polish by Calvin Klein. Because I want to add a lot of color on top of it and I obviously want it to be bright. So yeah, I actually bought this uh, nail polish at a budget store once. I have no idea how old it is, but it still works, sort of. Like the first layer is never actually very nice as you can see. But it already looks a lot more even on the second layer, so I just added two layers. It's not perfect that way, but it's bright enough to, you know, serve its purpose for this nail art. And then to get a completely even and smooth surface for the stamping or, well, sponging. You'll see what I mean later. I just added the top coat. And then I also added liquid nail art tape. Just so I wouldn't have a whole lot of cleanup to do afterwards. This one is for Beauty Hill. It's actually my favorite because it's really easy to remove. And also it doesn't go like completely see-through. So you can still see it there. So I don't forget where I've put it. And then for the colors. Um, I'll as usual list everything I use down below in the description box. Because I use a whole lot of colors, I use 7 colors, mainly Essence and also a P2 one and a China Glaze one. And then a whole lot more of Essence over here. And obviously I also use a sponge. This one I got from a... Yeah, it was part of a set from China Glaze I think. But yeah, any sponge that's big enough will do. Um, yeah, pretty much I just made pizza slices of color, pretty much. I didn't want it to look too neat, so I pretty much just threw the colors on there and yeah, I hoped it would end up in a nice sort of form. Yep. I don't know, I wanted it to look more sort of tie-dye like, rather than a real ombre. So I pretty much just stamped it on there using the sponge. And I managed to do about three nails per, you know, sponge before I had to add more nail polish to it. I did add two layers onto each nail. You can add how many layers you want. It also depends on how opaque your colors are. Uh, but yeah, one important thing is of course to line it up properly so the colors don't all mix together and form one weird muddy color. So yeah. And once everything's on there, I applied or applied or removed the liquid nail art tape. Yeah. Just with a pair of tweezers and as usual I didn't apply enough of it so there was still nail polish left on my fingers. Oops. I should really learn. But yeah, luckily I have acetone and q-tips. So that was quick enough to remove it. And then I also used a flat nail art brush and some more acetone to just clean up right around the cuticle. I never, uh, never like to put liquid nail art tape there because for some reason I always put too much there and then there's just like a huge white stripe left there which I don't like. So I'd rather clean it up like this. Then I used a glossy top coat, this one by Essence and also some rhinestones. I have no idea where I got this actually. Um, but there's different sizes in it and I wanted to use bigger rhinestones than the average size they have. So I just apply the top coat on the entire nail for extra strength also. And then just use a dotting tool bolt for a little bit of cleanup and also to apply the rhinestones. And just for fun I decided to add a different color rhinestone onto each nail. So this one got, got, no, got the green one. Then I used the pink one. And a blue one. And then I also added a matte top coat. This one is by Catrice. It's not actually completely matte. It's sort of more set and finish. With a sort of pearly shine to it, really cool. And I don't know, I just wanted something different for this rainbow. So I applied that into all of my nails. And then it was done. As you can see, not completely matte, more of a set and finish, but I think I actually like this more than full matte. Either way, I think it's a really fun look for summer and it's really quick and easy to do, which I think is also a good thing in summer because I don't want to spend hours on my nails when it's nice and warm outside. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye! I had in mind I just pretty much did two gears on two of my nails and the other three nails on my left hand it is. Uh, just got one single gear.